Hello, my name is Tiffany Gatsu, and I'd like to share with you uh, how the study and the understanding of sacred geometry can help us to see beauty in the world, see beauty in our existence, fall in love with it, and fall in love back to our own selves. And this has been the motivation to, for me to be an eternal apprentice of the sacred geometry, which is the study of nature, which is the simple and pure study of what is what surrounds us. And I like to, to think in the beginning of the universe, uh, if we can imagine it, but the Big Bang happened from a very, uh, from an invisible point, reference in an infinite and infinite universe of space um, and from this dot this invisible dot came all the the potency of life and creation and poof, exploded in all directions all directions and the further all these uh, particles moved away from the center we had galaxies and other universe being uh, being created only by this first impulse. And um, I like to think that this pure impulse, which is the energy of creation, it's what I call sacred. So when we are closer to the center, it's like we are closer to this pure impulse, what makes the universe, what made the universe um, go, move and create whatever, everything, everything, everything beautiful, everything chaotic, everything death and life then it created. And I like to imagine that our body, for example, is like a universe by itself. So we, we also came from a very tiny one cell and we were divided, divided, and we became what we are, you know. And um, psychologically, also, I like to think that we also came from very tiny. We always come from tiny to bigger, right? And then comes to dissolution. This is, this is how life runs. And psychologically, when we are close to the sacred, the sacred center that um, really moves us, motivates all our, our other thoughts, but when we are close to that center, we are in the heart of the mandala. We are in the heart of the galaxy of our own being. It's like being in the, in the, in the real eye of the hu hurricane. When you are in the center, everything is, is turning around you. But you, you have this calmness. You can see the, the chaos, but you came back from the, to the center. That, I like to think of that as a metaphor, like um, when we are connected to our heart and look at our body, the heart is kind of a, in the center. When we are connected to our, what really moves us in our lives, that means what is when we, when we are close to what we think is sacred, that means closer to the energy of creation, of what creates our lives, uh, with the pew, 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 first and original spark and explosion. When we are connected to it, you know, the world can go crazy, but we feel, um, we feel calm. We are in the center. We are in the center of the mandala. But what happens is that the hurricane also moves and um, we lose center. And this is, this is the universe, the dimension of duality, which we live, we live in. You know, we have to, to die and be reborn. We have to sleep and wake up. We have to breathe in and breathe out. We have to have some sun, but also have some shade. So we have to find our center and then involve ourselves in the turmoil of the world and then put all our muscles to work to yearn back to the to our to the center of our mandala and you see now the sun is like heating my face and it's you know it's a star is entering all my cells and 
thinking that everything is uh, is like a dot of a mandala. Uh, and if, you know, like the sun is a dot of my mandala, but it's also a dot of your mandala. And the lines is all the rays that connect us. It's all this interdependency. And uh, we are not separated. And actually, when we see that we are separated is when I get distant from, from the center. And if I have the feeling that I am the whole mandala, my being goes until all these miles, it goes until the sun. It doesn't have a limit, you know. Where does my body finishes and when does my body starts and ends, you know, um, if this sun is inside of me. By seeing nature, uh, we can understand a lot how the universe is all the time um, talking again. And uh, I like to see the, the plants. Um, Leonardo da Vinci says something beautiful. I'm going to show some of the plants. If we understand all plants, like the leaves, they are turned in a way that, um, you know, they can get all the, the sun the best way. You see that they, they kind of know where the sun comes and how they can be organized so they can get the best sun without making so much shade on top of the other. They are also organized in a way that they can really collect more dew from the down. And, uh, so when we, when we see nature, you know, we, we can understand there is, there is an intelligency. Like our body, if we come down to the most abstract form of it, um, we come to a five-pointed star. We see the, the five, you see, if I open my, my arms and, and legs, you know, I'm like a, a five. And I can see this uh, matrix, this blueprint in all human beings, but also in flowers and vegetables. So we are, uh, we, something holds uh, who we are. So the shape, for example, in this, in this example of a pentagram, holds what we are as a human being. Holds also, you see the jasmine flower also have, has a five point. So we are the same as the flowers. And uh, there is a, a same mind, a same intelligency that runs in my being and runs in the flowers and runs in the galaxies and what moves the earth around the sun is what moves me in this life my center of my heart you know as the sun and everything else turning around you know in chaos in order and by understanding sacred geometry we can see the world as not separated and it's beautiful and we fall in love again so my courses on sacred geometry, we learn how to, how to draw all these mandalas. Uh, but I always bring a spark of thought, a spark of contemplation. Um, and then drawing is just the moment of celebrating, also of um, meditation, concentration. Uh, we can have a lot of benefit out of the, the moment of drawing, the practice, and then celebrating with color. And so, always going back, this is the path of beauty, of waking up beauty in consciousness. <laughs>